Good morning, world. This is Ivan Amir here again. It is 2.42 in the morning. Hope you guys enjoyed my three video marathon I made yesterday. I probably won't do that again today. I'm exhausted, obviously. Today's and this morning is going to be another very interesting video. I'm going to talk about Sky Source. As usual, I'm going to talk about the theory topic. I'll mention it here and there, but like, there's a high chance I will not build the theory chain, guys. And it's just more work for me and VJ, and we don't, me and VJ don't need that extra money. It's kind of a waste of money building a theory chain. It's not a waste of money. It's a good investment, obviously, but it's money that we don't need. Like, making an extra $40 million of a theory chain is, is pointless. It's money that we don't need, so I'm saying. And it's, it's a, I don't feel like doing all that work, man. I don't feel like doing all that work. I recommend you guys just get a theory system for my 4K Blu-ray movie on, 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 on what? On, 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 for your home theater experience. And if you can't afford, if, if you're someone who's working minimum wage and you live in an apartment, you can save up money and get yourself a nice flat screen TV. The chances are if someone who works, the people who, who work minimum wage, they all have at least a good two, three thousand dollars in their visa. As they can afford to get a nice $500, $600 TV, and they can afford those payments. If you're working minimum, minimum wage, you can afford to pay off your, your $500, $700 TV credit card, credit card payments. I'm saying. Well, if for someone who has a good paying job, you're making $56,000 a year, you can get a nice $2,500 theater system, even $3,000 theater system you can get. I'm going to keep saying this, guys. Stay in your lane, man. I'm going to keep saying this. If you make 50, 60, 70 K a year, don't get like a $10,000 theory system. Otherwise, like even, let's say if you have a, I don't know, a $14,000 credit card limit, don't get a $10,000 theory system. Otherwise, you're going to drown yourself in debt, man. You're going to be stressed out. You can if you want to, because you because you didn't stay in your lane and you and you, and you, you, you went way overboard your, your, your what? Your budget, obviously. You're now going to pay all these 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 big monthly fees, obviously, because for credit card payments you have you have, you have a minimum you have you have a, you have a minimum you have a minimum you have a minimum amount payment you have to make every month for certain payments. The higher the higher you pay, the higher your, your minimum payments will be, and if you don't meet those minimum payments, you they charge you interest on your credit card. There's nothing worse than being behind payments and you have to just pay interest. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you get bad. You have bad credit with the bank. No. Man, you're not mean, VJ. Because I have the keys. I'm going to have buildings off my book. I can easily put $2 million into my private IMAX CD room. And I can easily pay it off. I don't have to take any loan because I have buildings in my bank. Which you guys are not me. You all make your 50, 60. Don't hate me. You know what I'm saying? You all make your 50, 60, 70 dollars a year. Stay in your lane for the th for your theory because I guarantee you guys are gonna follow my advice. Everyone around the world is gonna get a theory system. You can even get good theory systems for four hundred bucks, the cheaper ones. How have these small little speakers? I recommend all you guys out there who work minimum wage, you can you can put money into cheaper theory systems like a nice three hundred, four hundred dollar theory system. The four hundred dollar theory system are the cheap ones. You have like these small little speakers that you can have with your TV. You, you still got the theatrical experience, still got the experience, obviously. But if you're someone who has a good paying job, you have a family, you're making fifty six thousand a year, stay in your lane. You get around that fifteen, twenty five hundred, three thousand dollar theater system for yourself. You see what I'm saying? That's affordable for a guy who makes fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year. Whereas if you make a hundred plus thousand a year, you can easily put a good seven plus six plus eight, even nine, even ten grand into these because you can afford it. See what I'm saying? You can afford it, obviously. As if you make a hundred grand a year, you're making like five grand a, a month. So if you make five grand a month, chances are a guy who makes a hundred grand a year, they own like a four hundred, five hundred thousand dollar house. You're probably paying a good two thousand dollars a month, eighteen hundred dollars a month for your mortgage for those for, for five hundred thousand dollar house, a twenty five year mortgage. You're, you're paying about eighteen hundred a month, around there, and you're probably paying another maybe thousand, twelve hundred bucks for your car payments. And another thousand for your food. You have at least a good extra. People who make a hundred grand a year have at least a good like a thousand bucks to spend after uh, 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 for, for each paycheck. They're fucking rich, man. Yeah, they have a good a thousand dollars to spend. You can easily put a good two hundred, three hundred dollars towards paying off four hundred dollars of your money towards paying off your ten thousand uh, dollar theater system. You can easily afford it if you make a hundred a year. 
I'm going to keep saying this, guys. Stay in your fucking lane, man. If you make 50K a year, 60K a year, get around that 15, 2,000, 2,500, $3,000 range to your system. Don't go any higher than that, man. Otherwise, you can get a better system if you want. I want this one, you know what I'm saying? You, yeah, I know that temptation. You're tempted to get a better season. But if you do that, you're going to have to pay your, your, your credit card bills. If you don't meet your payments, you, they, they charge the bank charges you interest. You see what I'm saying? There's nothing worse than having to pay off $10,000 for a fucking theater system on your credit card. Paying off $2,100 is not bad. You can easily pay it off in a good like couple years. You can pay it off. Whereas $10,000 is going to take you a long time to pay it off. Like nine years or something like that. Something crazy. You're going to be stressed out. Yes. Stay in your lane, guys. If you're not a celebrity or you're not the part of the... If you're not part of the 1% or you're not an upper class citizen, stay in your lane. You need to be making at least 90 plus thousand, 100 plus thousand a year even consider thinking about getting a $10,000 theater system. You see what I'm saying? By theater system, I mean like the speakers. You can either get your, your TV, you can get your flat, your nice 60-inch TV and your nice $10,000 speaker system if you want. Or you can put money, a couple thousand dollars into a nice projector and and, and, and renovate your basement, obviously, into a theater. Into, 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 into the, you either get a theater system with your speakers and your flat screen TV or you can get a theater system with your projector. And, and, your, and your slide screen TV if you want. But that's going to cost you like eight eight plus grand to do. Remember Neil Tusi's, all you Star Wars theory fans, remember Neil Tusi showed his vlog of his theater system that he installed in his basement? Yeah, you're not Neil Tusi. Neil Tusi is probably making a lot of money. He's, he's, he has three, three million followers. The guy is an upper class citizen, obviously. He's making his, 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 his hundreds of thousands plus a year. He's doing good for himself. You're not him. He can obviously afford it. If you're not making that kind of money, if you're not an upper class citizen or what, or a celebrity, I stay away from, from super expensive theater systems. Otherwise, you're going to go in debt. And I don't want you guys to go in debt because I told you. To, it's it's going it's, it's, it's to what? I don't want you guys to go in debt because I told you to get a theater system. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I recommend you guys get a theater system. It's worth the money, obviously. But be smart. Stay in your lane for, 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 for your prices. You know what I'm saying? Stay in your lane. If you're a celebrity or you're an upper class person, you can easily get a $10 plus thousand dollar theater system if you want. If you're making, if you're middle class and you're making 50, 60, 70, 80K a year, I recommend you get around that $1,500 to like three thirty five hundred dollars range for your theory system. Even $4,000 is not bad. $4,000 is affordable if you're making 60K a year. You can pay it off in a good like four years. You can easily pay it off. Put a good one hundred pay put a good hundred dollars a month towards your credit card payments, and a good four years will pay off your four thousand dollar bill for your for, for theory system if you want. Or if you have savings, if you're someone who saved a good like ten grand for yourself, you can consider putting a good twenty hundred dollars into your thesis policy. I told you most people don't save their money. Most people around the world blow all their money, man. They blow everything. If they have savings, chances are they only have maybe three thousand, five thousand dollars in savings. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But eventually, even people who save their money they end up blowing their savings too. People blow their money in this world, man. Yeah, we live in a crazy world, man. Yeah, you know, we all blow our money. Yeah, everyone around the world blows their money. Even the celebrities blow their money. Celebrities, obviously, because celebrities are rich, they have enough money to have to have a save. They have enough money to have a savings account, obviously, because they have so much money in the bank. But even celebrities blow their money too. But because they have they're rich, it does not affect their budget. Obviously, they have a, they have a, they have so much money to blow. Me and Vijay are gonna be blowing our money too, but because we're billionaires, we, it's not affecting our budget. Obviously, unless we're stupid and we blow like a hundred million a year, then we're being stupid with our money, which I'm not gonna do. I'm only gonna blow probably good maybe. Maybe four, five, six, seven million every year around there with VJ, and that's it. <laughs> Some years I might maybe blow maybe a bit more. I might blow maybe 15 million. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's not a problem for me. Me and VJ, it's not a problem for me because me and VJ are going to be billionaires. We're going to be billionaires, you know what I'm saying? Me and VJ are going to be billionaires. That's not a problem for us. So I'm going to keep saying this world, even though. If if I end up releasing my movie on 4K Blu-ray, which I most likely will, only on 4K Blu-ray, direct to 4K Blu-ray on Amazon, I recommend you guys stay in your lane, man. All, all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All you people who work minimum wage who are making your 1000 1200 bucks every two weeks, your 30 grand a year, whatever it is, I recommend you get, don't get like a a, 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 a $2,500 theory system, otherwise you're, you're going to have to make those payments. I recommend you put money into a cheaper theory system, like a nice $400 theory system. You can get cheap 400 theater systems on Amazon or on Best Buy too if you want. But those those theater systems are not as good, right? You get these nice like small speakers, these nice like four small speakers 
on the side of your TV, you can still get a nice theatrical experience. You can put a good 500, 600 grand into a four, 600, 600,000, 600 dollars into a nice 40, 50, 60 inch TV. Costco, Best Buy has good deals for TVs these days. I'm Sarah. Yeah. And I recommend all you people, all you average people worldwide, when a movie gets released on 4K Blu-ray, I recommend you get a 4K TV. That way you get the four. That way you get the you, you get the four. Yeah, you get the the full full on four K Blu ray experience. The ones the ones who are not putting money into a projector for their theater system, and you you, you have your flat screen TV. I recommend you get a four K TV. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? that way you get that way you get the beautiful four K remaster experience for your TV. You don't need a four K TV. You can easily get a nice flat screen forty inch, fifty sixty inch Panasonic, Sony, Samsung TV if you want, but. Yeah. Some there. Yeah. I'm going to talk about this this VJ topic. Um, me discussing scratches with VJ. Obviously. So once I pay this bullshit fee, obviously, and I make my nice, I know I make my nice, I don't know. $20 million, $25 million, whatever it is. I make my nice $18 million. I don't know how much money I make my nice. My guess is between 9 to like $30 billion around there. Range. Or around that area, right? Even if I make 9, even if I make 9, 10 billion bucks, I made more enough money. Me and Vijay can still start Skypes, obviously. I can fund my movie for $95 million, obviously. But I will not touch the theater chain, Sim Singer. Even if I make 26, 27, there's a high chance I still won't even build a theater chain. Because it's a, I don't feel like doing all that dirty all that dirty work, man. It's a daunting process. Like once I want it once I, I, I just want to plan Sky with George Lucas and I just want to what? I want to take my vacation with VJ and study the Fellowship of the Rings group, take our notes for three volumes, look at the resumes for a good like couple weeks, and that's it. I want to enjoy myself before I'm hard at work for the Zanes project. I don't want to have to do all that extra work. Hence why there's a high answer. Building a theater chain worldwide is crazy, man. It's just something, it's a huge project. I don't feel like tackling on that task. Hence why there's a high chance I will not build it. Don't hate me, guys. I'm saying. But there's a, there's a chance I might build it. You know, who knows? We'll see. I'll have, I'm going to have to have this talk with VJ. I might change my mind. You, I, I, I might change my mind. You might see me You might see me building that theater chain. And guaranteed if I build the theater chain, you're going to see the crew and making videos. Hey, I'm building a building. You know what I'm saying? You're going to see Krubin Worldwide making all these videos. You're going to see that trending. Yeah. Obviously. If I build a theater chain, you guys will know. I have the keys. You guys will know, obviously. I have the keys. But high chance I will not build. I'm just going to stick the fork on Amazon. I don't feel like doing all that dirty work, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, so once I pay this bullshit fee and I end, and I come back from death, I, I celebrate, I empty up my room... I see my final 40 good, 40 good buys in Elmer Quebec, obviously. I get that fat check at the end of the month. I know I get my nice, I don't know, $27 billion check, obviously. I'm going to fly privately to book my private flight to, to Los Angeles. See my wife after 30 some years. Yeah, peace out. Then me and Vijay are going to have to, uh, the first thing, so once I, I meet Vijay in Los Angeles, obviously, at the airport, she's going to ask me, Ivan, how much money did you get paid, by the way? You know, and she's curious, obviously. He's like, yeah, Ivan, ha Ivan had, had, has, had, had enough money to fly privately here. He got his check. I wonder how much money he made. She's going to wonder how much money I made, obviously. Ivan, how much money did you make, by the way? I'm like, Vijay, I'll tell you when we go, when we, when we book our suite in, the, in Los Angeles. Los Angeles Hotel. Okay, Ivan. Yeah, I don't want to tell you here. I don't want people hearing hearing him. Ivan, you can just whisper it to me in my ear. You can just whisper it in my ear. Ivan, no, BJ. I'll tell you when we when we book the hotel. We booked the suite in the hotel. I'll tell you. And once you go to the hotel, obviously, VJ will be like, "Okay, Ivan, how much money did you made?" You know, what I'm saying she's gonna ask you, Ivan, how much money did you made? You know, what I'm saying, I'm like, yeah, VJ, I made twenty seven billion dollars. Like, you made twenty seven billion dollars off your book, Ivan. Like, yeah, VJ. I mean, Tony said, holy shit, Ivan, we can live the life with this kind of money. Ivan, we can build that, Ivan, you want to build that dream 300 million condo, we can build it. You know what I'm saying? We can build it. Yeah, we can build it. You want to build that dream condo, Ivan? Yeah, VJ, we can build that dream 300 million dollar condo in Vancouver. 300, I can even pivot on market, put 330 towards it. Build that 330 million dollar condo, we can buy our two jets. I can buy it, we can buy our nice 130 million dollar jet, and our nice 60 million dollar jet. We can what? We can buy our nice 55 million dollar yacht. 
We can start that Sky Source Film Studio, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I know you want to build your theater. I know you. I know you're thinking about building, starting your Sky Source company. You want to build your IMAX theater chain, Ivan. I saw your videos, Ivan. I'm saying. And then BJ would be like, "Yeah, Ivan." I mean, I, BJ would be like, "Yeah, Ivan." I, mean, I don't think you should do it, man. I don't feel like doing all this work. Yeah, Ivan. Mean, Ivan, mean, like, Ivan, mean, like, it's just gonna be more stress for us. We're, we're, I mean, I saw. I, I, I did the. Ma I saw your videos. I know the kind of money we're gonna make. We don't need any more money, Ivan. We don't need to build a series chain. Yeah, just release it on Fork on Amazon. Release it online or release it to Fork on Amazon. Party on Amazon is good enough. The movie will still have crazy, crazy worldwide buzz, Ivan. The world will get to, get to see it at home. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's gonna put money into a theory chain. We're gonna get a nice theory chain. Yeah, it's good enough, obviously. Yeah, Ivan, if we build that private IMAX theory, we don't need to build this theory chain. We're gonna get the nice IMAX experience. We're going to get the same experience that we're going to get at the theater, obviously, except it's, it's, it's a home theater experience. Not as good as the theater, obviously, but it's almost just as good, right? As I'm putting money into, like, a, I'm, put, I'm going to put $2 million into my private IMAX theater room. The best IMAX projector technology, I'm going to build a big, a big, I showed you those pictures in my, in, my, in my clarification video, a big, like, slide screen. You know what I'm saying? All we just have to do is buy our 4K Blu-ray player, we buy our HDMI, we connect it to, 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 to the projector. And whatever it projects on the H on the disc to the on in the HDMI and the um in the 4K Blu-ray player, it projects onto the screen. That's all you have to do, yeah. I'm saying, yeah, guaranteed. BJ will tell me oh, Ivan, don't do it. We Ivan, like Ivan, we don't need to. I, Ivan, you really want to do all this? Do you only? Do you really want to tackle on this? Daunting process. No, Ivan, this is a lot of work, man. You should be like, Ivan, I don't feel like doing all this work, man. I don't feel like meeting with all these developers and looking at all these cities worldwide. This is crazy, Ivan. Just stick the fork of me on Amazon. It's good enough. We're going to make enough money. Yeah, VJ, fuck it. I'm not going to build a theater chain. I just released my Wii on 4K Blu-ray I'm done. Hence why I recommend all you celebrities out there who have money, I recommend if you don't have a theater system, I recommend you put money Put a good 10 grand plus into a nice theater system. Projector if you have to. Put money in. You guys can all afford it. Put money into a nice like projector. Like, know how Neil Toos, Neil Toos' video on Star Wars Theory? You probably put a good 10, 15, 20 grand into that. Put money into a nice theater the, the, theater uh, theater system with a projector. That way you get a good experience at, in, in, in your apartment or your house, whatever it is. See what I'm saying? Or if you don't want to, you can just get a nice flat screen. You get a nice $2,000 nice like 60, 70 inch TV. And put to put ten grand into nice speakers if you want. If you don't want to get the projector, whereas all you average people, you have to get the screen. You have to get the screen and and, and the speakers. Obviously, you guys can't afford the projectors. The projectors are very expensive. Unless you want to take ten grand of your money and pay, if you want to be drowned dead, you you're more than welcome to do that. But I'm just saying, you're you're gonna be stressed out paying your your your, your, your credit card bills, and you're gonna you and you stay in your lane, guys. I'm gonna keep saying that. Stay in your fucking lane. Yeah. Okay, Vijay, what do you think? Do you want to build this theater chain or not? Or you want to just stick to 4K? Okay, Ivan. Okay, Vijay will talk. Okay, Ivan, like, how do you want to distribute your movie? Do you want to, do you want to, do you want to, like, do you want to, like, do you want to, like, have it on release online, like Netflix? You want to have something like Netflix people pay to watch online? Or do you want to, like, partner with Amazon or release on 4K? No, Vijay, I do not like online streaming. I'm not a fan of digital, direct to digital. No, I want. It released on 4K we were in a nice box set. So Ivan, you want to release movies in the box set? Yes, I want to release Zayn's in a three movie box set. That way we don't keep the fans waiting. I don't want to do a thing where I release each volume year by year. No. Amazon might tell me, I want you to do that. I'm like, well, make my money. I'm like, guys, I don't want to keep the fans waiting one year for volume two, man. Just release the whole thing in a box set. It's easier. We're making enough money. We don't need any more money. The last thing I want to I don't want to do like fucking three premieres. While I'm fuck, I don't want to do all these premieres while I'm fucking um, focusing while I'm working on my Great Escape movie. It's really annoying. I I release the, the I I do my I do my two day hotel party my one my red carpet. Uh, my premiere will be the pre order of my movie. My premiere will be the pre order of my movie. Or I don't have to do a pre order. Like the one day one month pre order is I don't think I don't I don't have to do that right. I can just release, have it available for purchase for the world to buy. It's easier that way instead of doing a pre-order. We don't have, but I think a pre-order is cool. I'm gonna do a pre-order. Pre-order is cool. The first, the first like 300 million people who buy my movie get their 4K Blu-ray in the mail first, 
and then I'll release the, 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 the official release will be a month later. You can do that if you want. Okay, guys, put a cap of 300 million. Tell Amazon, put a cap of 300 million orders. Once 300 million people order, the, uh, the, their cards no longer work, and they have to wait one month for, 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 for the next order. All right, that's pretty cool. That, 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 way you, that way I give Amazon more time, obviously, right, to prepare. Obviously. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to have a talk with Vijay. Vijay, like, hey, Ivan. Hey, Vijay, what do you think? Do you want to build this theater chain or IMAX station? Or, or, or do you want to just stick to on, or do you want to just stick the home video? Or you, or you just want to just stick the home video direct to 4K Blu-ray? Ivan, let's just stick the home video direct to 4K Blu-ray. We don't need to... to, 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 to Ivan, like, you really want to take $11 million of your money and invest in a theater chain? Like, I'm like, Vijay, we'll make our money back. I'm like, yeah, Ivan, but, like, it's money we don't need. We don't need, we don't need an extra $34 billion, Ivan. We're going to make a nice, like, $70 million, $80 billion off the, off the 4K Blue movies and merch. That's enough money, Ivan. We don't need more. Yeah. Okay, uh, okay so, so, so what are you saying, Vijay? You don't want to build it? No, Ivan, I don't want to build it. I don't want to do all this fucking work, man. I just want to take a vacation with you, Ivan. Plan skies with George Lucas and just look at like a look at look at a couple hundred resumes. You know what I'm saying? We plan out the notes of the three volumes of Zanus and study the script. I don't want to be doing all this extra work, Ivan. You know, because VJ's lazy, obviously. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to do all this dirty work. Amazon will do all the Amazon already has warehouses worldwide, all over Canada, America, Mexico, all all the countries in Europe, China, Japan, Korea, New Zealand, Australia. They can handle all that for us, Ivan. We don't need to do all this fucking work. I'm like, you're right, BJ. So we're not going to start it, BJ? No, I, mean, I don't want to start the theater chain. Okay, fine, BJ. Let's just release on 4K Blu ray, and I'm saying. And I end up not building the theater chain. Don't hate me, guys, I'm saying. You guys won't care. I, I don't care. 4K Blu ray is still fucking top notch. Yeah, 4K Blu ray is still top notch. You get to see my movies at home. You guys are gonna all going to go on a frenzy ordering your food. You can still get your food, obviously. You, you, can, you, you won't get your theater food, but you can still get your what? You won't get your theater food, but you can, but you can still get your what? You can still get your um your pizza. Okay, guys. Okay, okay, guys. The movies, the movie arrived in the mail. You know, I'm saying, oh, the movie's here. You know, I'm saying, I know the mailman. They go to each, they go house by house. They deliver all the movies. Enjoy, enjoy the movie. You know, what I'm saying, oh, the, hey, dad, the mail's here. Ivan, Ivan's, Ivan's movie's here. The the last one was saying, his movie's here. You know, what I'm saying, it's here. Okay, guys, what do you want? You know what I'm saying? Hey guys, what do you want? You know what I'm saying? Do you want pizza? Do you want McDonald's? You know what I'm saying? Do you want to get Popeyes and that chicken? You know what I'm saying? Do you want shawarma? Do you want Subway? What do you guys want? Do you want to go to the store and get popcorn? Do you want to get chips and coke and candy? What do you guys want? I don't know, Dad. I want some pizza. Let's order some pizza. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm gonna go order some pizza. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a all you guys are gonna get a beer for yourself. You go to the store, you get like your six your six cans of beer. Some people might even get high for my movie. You know, I might get high for Zanus. Yeah. Some people might even get high. They go to the store and they get weed. They get high because every time they sell and they order, like, they get McDonald's. Some people get McDonald's. Yeah, I'll get three McDoubles and, like, two large fries and, like, a, a milkshake and a Coke. And they get high and you you get high and you have a, your six beers and you eat your McDonald's and you watch my movie at home. Yeah. You get the theatrical experience at home. Yeah, you're still going to get a good experience, obviously. Me and Vija are going to get an unheard experience because I'm putting money into an IMAX private home theater, man. I'm pimping out. I'm putting like two million towards my private IMAX theater, so I'm pimping it out. I mean, nice. You should be like Ivan. We're, we're gonna build. We're, if we build that private IMAX here, we, we're gonna get our IMAX experience at home. We don't need to build this theater chain, Ivan. <laughs> the rest of the world, most the rest of the world will not get the IMAX series, but they're gonna get the theatrical experience at least. I'm saying the only people who are, who are gonna get the home IMAX theatrical experience are the people, who, the rich, the celebrities can put money into an IMAX theater if they want. The A-list actors, because they're all rich, they're all millionaires. You know what I'm saying? But who knows? If I make $27 million, who knows? Me and VJ might perhaps build that theory chain. You never know. But there's a high chance I will not build it, guys. But there's a high chance I could build it, too. You never know. We'll see what happens. You guys already know. You can see the future. Chances are uh, I, I will not build it. Chances are I'm just going to stick the fork on Amazon. Because I already have my home. My, I already have my private home. My private IMAX home theater at home. My advanced two minor private IMAX theater at home. I don't need to build a theater, a theater chain. I have my private IMAX home theater at home. I guarantee Peter Jackson will build that theater, that, that IMAX theater chain. I'm going to tell Peter, Peter, you know, I don't, when Peter comes to my con and we watch like Prince of Egypt and all stuff, my private IMAX room and all stuff, you know what I'm saying? Peter's like, this is your theater, Ivan? What kind of theater is this? Peter, this is an IMAX theater. IMAX? How much did it cost you, Ivan? It cost me a good like two million bucks. I recommend, Peter, when you get your check, I recommend you renovate your, your you renovate your, 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 uh, 
you renovate your basement into a private IMAX here. That way you get the IMAX. I'm going to do that. And Peter Jackson copies me. He puts like $2 million into an IMAX in your room and he builds his IMAX theater. And he watches my movie in an IMAX experience at home. Yeah. Obviously. And if I, if I release my movie direct to Fork of on Amazon, I will not have screenings with the crewmen and the actors. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to have my red carpet event. And then the party, obviously, and then and, 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 and the actors get sent their 4K Blu-ray copy to their house. And they can watch at home with their girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, family, and friends. You see what I'm saying? And friends, obviously. But they're all, all these Zane's actors are, who don't have theory systems, they're all going to put money into a theory system. Yeah, Ivan, I'm going to put a good 10, 20 grand into a nice theory system at home. And then, hey, guys, if you put money into a theory system, I recommend you, you get a projector. Don't don't have a flat screen TV and, and big speakers. No, I recommend you put money into a projector. You get a better experience. Yeah, I've not do that. And they put money into into projector. Like no, Neil Tooze his 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 uh his theory system. They're gonna put money into a nice theory system like that. They can afford it. They, for a good twenty grand, you can you can build a nice theory, theater 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 system in your in your basement. Um, um like like that, right? Like what Neil Tooze showed on his channel. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying yeah. Hey, VJ, are you sure you don't want to build a theater? No, I and I don't want to build it. We do, we do. Amazon, I, why Why would we why, why would we build theaters worldwide when we have when Amazon already, Amazon can dist, Amazon will handle all the distribution for our distribution for us. I we're, we're going to build our private IMAX home theater at home. I mean, we're going to get our the, our theatrical experience at home. We don't need a theater. The, yeah, you're right, VJ. We're, because me and VJ are going to build that private IMAX theater, theater wide. In our in, in our in our in our condo, we don't need the the theater chain. See what I'm saying here? As we're gonna get we're gonna get an alternative experience in our condo, because we're gonna have an IMAX home theater, like a two million dollar IMAX home theater. Obviously, better than even Neil Tuss's theater system. Neil Tuss probably put a good twenty thousand. Remember all you Star Wars theory fans? Remember you saw that video of Neil Tuss um, bragging about his uh, his nice um yeah he probably put maybe a good twenty grand towards that. That's fucking nice. That theory system that he has is nice, but it's nothing compared to my IMAX theory that I'm gonna own. I'm putting two million towards that, like a like two million towards towards my IMAX theory. Yeah, I showed you those pictures in my clarification period. This clarification period. Yeah, think of theories that guaranteed John Favreau and Dave Filoni are gonna put money into private IMAX theater too. They can afford it. They can afford it. Yeah, but John Favreau might put might might put money maybe into a cheaper one. Maybe a five hundred thousand dollar home theater IMAX theater, which is still fucking unheard of, unheard of technology. Whereas me and VJ can can pimp it out completely. We can put two million towards it, a million five, two million. Whereas John Favreau and probably might put maybe four hundred grand, five hundred. It costs us a minimum of about four hundred to five hundred grand to make to have a home theater IMAX uh, theater room. And John Favreau was like, oh, Ivan, I'm gonna put money into, I'm gonna put a good like a million dollars into the theater system, Ivan. A good million bucks into it, eight hundred grand into my private IMAX theater room for my family. Yeah, I recommend John do that. Build, renovate your basement if you have to into a private IMAX home theater room. Renovate one of your rooms or renovate your basement into a private IMAX home theater room. That way, when you get the nice theatrical experience from my Zanis movie, and buy a nice four K Blu-ray player. Obviously, you also have to stay in your lane for four K Blu-ray players too, guys. As because I'm releasing my movie direct to four K Blu-ray. There are cheaper 4K Blu-rays and there are more expensive ones. Don't get like $1,500 4K Blu-ray players. Otherwise, you're, you're being stupid with your money. Those are for the rich. Get cheaper like $150, $200 4K Blu-ray players. For a good $80, bucks, you can get a good 4K Blu-ray player for yourself. $80, $80. 4K Blu-ray players, the cheapest 4K Blu-ray player you can get is probably a good $70, $80. Bucks. So if you're making $50K a year, you can get a nice $80. 90, 100, 120 dollar 4K Blu-ray player for yourself. Whereas if you're rich, if you're part of the, if you if you're part of the rich and you're making a hundred plus thousand dollars a year, you're a celebrity. You can easily put money into a, a, a six, a 500, 800, 900, thousand, even fifty hundred dollar 4K Blu-ray player. The more advanced ones, if you want. I mean, I'm gonna get the best 4K Blu-ray there is at, at Best Buy in Vancouver for my movie, obviously for my movies. Hey, we just go to Best Buy. Let's buy the best 4K. Hey, what's your best 4K Blu-ray player here? Yeah, this is the best one, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? This is the best one. This is the best one, Ivan. You know, okay, how much is it? Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's a thousand bucks, fifteen hundred bucks. Yeah, okay, we can, maybe you can easily afford it. Whereas if you're an average person, fifteen hundred bucks is pricey. I recommend you get a good like eighty to like one hundred, even a two hundred dollar um um 4K Blu-ray player is affordable for for, for a guy who makes three thousand dollars a year. 
And if you want to get a better one, you can get a better one. But I recommend stay in your lane. Don't be stupid and get like a fifteen hundred dollar, um, 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 what four K rear player? No, get a good like one hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollar four K rear player for yourself. You know what I'm saying? That way it's affordable. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep saying this, guys, because I'm releasing my movie on four K Blu-ray. You need to get a 4K Blu-ray. Make sure you tell them I want a 4K Blu-ray player. If you say Blu-ray player in general, the people are going to assume you want blue a Blu-ray player. The 4K Blu-ray disc will not work on your four, on your Blu-ray player. 4K Blu-ray is not Blu-ray. It's different. Just like a DVD, you know, see, DVD can work. DVDs can work on a 4K Blu-ray player, but Blu-ray, 4K Blu-ray does not work on Blu-ray players. It might work on some of them, but chances are you 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 might get disc errors. It might not work. Make sure you get a 4K, 4K Blu-ray player. That way, the that way you can play my 4K Blu-ray movies on your 4K Blu-ray player. Last thing you want to do is buy a Blu-ray player. You spent 150 bucks on a Blu-ray player. The movie arrives in the mail. Obviously, the the movie arrives in the mail. Obviously, and then you you put my fucking what my 4K Blu-ray movie in your Blu-ray player, and 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 and, 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 the, and, the, and the movie and it doesn't work, and you're pissed off. And you go to Best Buy and you find out all the 4K Blu-ray. Oh, we, okay, we have to return this. And that's why I recommend you keep your receipts, obviously. Okay, we have to return this, obviously. You return it, obviously. Or or, or the expiration date for returning it's over. And okay, guys, we have to go to the store and buy a 4K Blu-ray player. And you go to the Best Buy and all the 4K Blu-rays are sold out. <laughs> yeah, man. And that's why I recommend, guys, if you don't want something messy that to happen, make sure you get a 4K Blu-ray player. And I recommend you guys buy your 4K Blu-ray player like months in advance. Before my movie gets released. Buy it at least a good week, two weeks, three weeks before my movie gets released. Last thing you want to do is wait. Wait until, I don't know, you wait until my movie arrives in the mail and you buy your 4K Blu-ray player that day. You want to buy it, obviously. And then you go to Best Buy and all the 4K Blu-rays are sold out at Best Buy. Yeah, sorry, guys. All the 4K Blu-rays are sold out. All the fans bought it, man. Yeah, you don't want something mess that to happen. Hence why, what? I recommend you prepare. Buy it in advance. That way you don't have something mess that happening. Because for my movie, guys... You're looking at something crazy, man. Like, you're looking at everyone around the world buying. Even theater systems will be sold out, man. A lot of fans are going to go to Best Buy, buy all the theater systems. Yeah, sorry, we're sold out. Even Amazon. Theater systems on Amazon are going to be sold out, too. But I recommend for your theater system, you don't buy on Amazon. Buy it at a store where you can see it for yourself. Don't buy your theater system on Amazon. I recommend you don't do that. Your 4K Blu-ray Blu players, you can buy on Amazon. But don't buy your... Uh, your, your, your theory system. I recommend you buy it at Best Buy or, or, or electronic stores. That way you can see it for yourself. You make sure everything came. Because if buying electronics online is, a little, is, 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 is not that great of a deal, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of here.